so I, I went to school for psychology and uh, my my background uh, is undergrad and grad school in psychology and what I've been looking at all these years is what happens to the human body and more importantly what happens to the human brain when we get ourselves into a fear state so I'm going to ask you to take a moment you know you're you're at two minutes right now you know, the parachute's been checked there's nothing to do you're getting ready to go right hopefully the first thought that pops into your head is I need to breathe better <laughs> I need to let my shoulders back down from my earlobes <laughs> I need to open my fists I need to relax and the skill of relaxing in the context of danger and I don't mean this only to be physical danger because of course most of the dangers that we take on most of the ones that shape our world are not physical dangers right most of them have more to do with the heart choosing compassion over fear that's the real scary stuff you know why do we live in the world that we do right now it, it's improving clearly it's growing the human heart is expanding but it's not there yet we're not in a state of flowing love all everywhere you go I mean there's there's war there's callousness there's thoughtlessness aggression a lot of stuff we'd like to leave behind and it seems to me that if we if we look a little bit deeper into this emotional experience that is part of who we are you know, we're gonna have a better idea of, of how to handle it so w the first thing that I started looking at is when the human physiology gets geared up gets prepared that's really what's happening if you think about it. when we feel fear there is energy building up inside the body and let's face it if you picture yourself in any number of possible circumstances where you'd feel fear there's really just juice energy where that energy goes is partially up to you and partially up to the context if you leave it up to the context you have the unholy trinity that I call it you have fight aggression attack the emotion of anger you have flight which you could express in terms of the general concept of fear running away feeling like you're in trouble and you can't handle yourself escaping to where we don't know just running away bars are full of people that are trying to escape is that the healthy answer not necessarily is getting angry at people a healthy answer to feel a feeling of fear because you're late for a deadline and you snap at your coworker? No. No, it doesn't work. And yet, something in us says, let's engage in this scrappy sort of dichotomy of the attacker or the retreater, <laughs> the predator and the prey, if you will. Right? This is something that's natural in all human beings, and if you look at it, <laughs> I think it's in every living organism even trees fighting over light but there's one other possibility one other thing that I think we need to consider a little bit deeper and, and we're just now starting to understand how this works in the human body the third possibility is to not engage this but to disengage to cut off ourselves from the situation and essentially hide and if you think about it in mirroring nature we do it we we stop processing I don't want to think about money I don't want to think about those bills so what do I do I put the newspaper on top of them now I feel better I'm tuning out I'm cutting myself off in freezing in a higher realm of things we see it in skydiving all the time they neglect to pull the rip cords I've pulled a lot of rip cords in my day that were not mine I've given the pull signal to a lot of people who were just completely not present, disengaged. And I think, gosh, you know, that's, that's the one that comes up first. Most of the time when we're dealt with this huge wave of adrenaline, fear, that's where we tend to go, hiding from the danger. If I don't do anything, maybe the danger won't see me. Hmm? Predator and prey relationship again, really. This is leftover stuff. But it seems to me, and I think everybody knows, we're capable of more. We have something much, much bigger in us. We have the capability of being creative. 
of compassionate action, of thoughts beyond just the selfish, let's face it, fear is very selfish, self-protective, fighting for life. And I think if we're going to graduate as a species from where we were to where we're going, we have to take fear head on.